Panikkar himself was a fantastic uh, person. He was a, for me, as, as I grew there, he was like a father figure for me, a guru. And uh, he would let me work in the classroom any time of the day, nights, late nights, early mornings. And uh, he would come and visit when I am painting, he would come and sit and criticize or appreciate the work, like that. And he would ask me to come to his studio to see the, to his work. So uh, that sort of a guru-shishya relationship also was built. And uh, he was re responsible to mold me many ways. I saw Valana Biyas, his comment about it. But I felt it's the wrong thing, very, very wrong thing. Panikkar was not a bad entry, and Panikkar was not a person who would uh, dis discourage anybody doing something different from what he did. And if he had any differences, he would say directly, I have differences with him, you know. And uh, on, on a small thing like construction of a, uh, of a studio, on that, I had a difference with him. But then we made up. He put his hand one day and said, we are friends. We are friends. I mean, this is something which, I mean, it is, it is uh, everybody has a temper, everybody has a, but never, he never interfered with anyone doing anything. And he encouraged all of us, were all youngsters, 24, 25 over at that time, and he encouraged all of us to do whatever they wanted, organizing things, etc., and uh, association matters, everything. And, uh, in fact, uh, I, for me, as I told you earlier, he was a figure, a father, who everything together. And my house in Cholamandal, because he built a house according to the taste of his wife, and that was, that was looking at, you know, you know, the city houses, no architecture, engineering, engineer's house, like that. With hall over the room, we had to a bathroom, much like that. But my house, designed by Ponapa architect, at that time he was a student, architecture student. And he, uh, Padikar really liked it very much. And he said, every day morning he would come and sit in front of the thing and with this umbrella and said, construction going on like that. He, would, he, was, he was happy doing it. So, and I, had, I had no problem with it. I don't know. And in fact, uh, he used to have uh, uh, evenings volleyball. All the uh, artists of Toronto and Babu gathered together play volleyball. After volleyball was over, Padikar would say, Hey, Vasu, do you have anything to drink at home? He said, Yes, sir, I have some good rum. Come. I'm coming. So, all the others also would follow. And it went on for a few months like that. Then I, I, and I told him, Sir, I can't be going on giving. I have to also, everybody has to share. So I'll do one thing. I, I kept my, my house for one and a half hours bar. Evening 6.30 to 8, it will be bar. People can come, pay for their drink, drink whatever they want. Whiskey, rum, whiskey, soda. And we'll keep a person who doesn't drink behind the kitchen alley. So at the table. So we, we had like that. For months to have done like that. And then people would come and they would get high, they would drink, but then the notebook would write. Next day morning they would come and pay. So, what <laughs> so like that, you know, it's, a, it's like that, your life was like that. You know. It's a very fun, very full of... Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, there was one uh, person called uh, Joseph James. He was an economics professor in the... Uh, um, in, what's it? Midwest um, Christian College. Anikar's daughter used to go to that college. Very beautiful girl. And so he followed her, I think, from the college to this college, School of Arts. And then Anikar met him. He found him as a very interesting person. He taught him how to say art, and he became an art writer. Joseph James. From economics to art, he was interested in Western music, but then artism. So, when he was, uh, when he wrote on the Madras Art Movement uh, in the Lalkala Academy magazine, 
and uh, I told him, I felt that uh, he was making uh, um, that all of us are part of the tree. Things like that. I said, look, it's a very wrong thing you are doing. You are doing injustice to Padikar. But Padikar never, in fact, he was give and take things with him. And he never considered himself as a tree. And uh, that all of us are branches. So you are all part of the tree. So he excused himself for that. I mean, he, 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 was, he really felt sorry for having written that. But when I saw Nambiyas, he made his statement a number of times also earlier. I differ with him on this. There was no nothing like that. 